Let's jump into an overview of collaborative work management boards. Boards help organize new and existing work into tasks and can be customized based on how you and your team work. To create a board, select Create. New boards will appear in either your personal space or your shared spaces, depending on which space you select. You can also add unlimited boards to a space and organize them into folders. You can share boards with other individuals or groups and determine the level of access they have. If you need to rename the board or edit other details, select the Edit icon. The Details tab includes additional information about the board. Along with these details, you can add attachments and communicate with collaborators under the Activity tab. Back on the Details tab, you can add a primary goal to your board. This can help you and your team plan and track all tasks and activities that directly contribute to your goal and provide improved visibility into how your work is aligned with organizational goals. Select a goal from the primary goal field and your goal will now appear on the board header. After creating the board, select Add Item to add tasks and assign them to members of your team. A new task will appear on the board and you can fill in each field with details about the task like the short description, who it's assigned to, the task's priority, and the expected start and end date. The default work items include task and defect. If you want to create another work item, like to do or events, you can create your own task type by selecting the more actions icon next to add item. Creating custom item types for boards can help you organize and manage different types of tasks from a single location. Here, you can add a new item type, give it a name, choose an icon, and select the checkbox to make it available for use in the board. If you want to add more item types, select the Add New Item Type option. The new item type will now appear when you select the Add Item button on the board. You can also change the type of existing tasks in the board. If you need to capture additional details for your tasks, you can create custom columns for a board. To add a custom column, select Add Column and pick a data type. Depending on the data type selected, you can enter different details for the column and add it to the board. Now the column will appear and you can enter values under it. CWM boards have three default views you can switch between, List, Gantt, and Kanban. The List view displays all tasks added to the board in a grid format. The Gantt view displays a grid and calendar view to help you visualize the progression of tasks. You can adjust dates for the tasks based on changing priorities by resizing or moving the corresponding bars in the calendar section. The Kanban view displays task cards in vertical lanes of state so that collaborators can update the status of their work as they progress with it. Board views are customizable based on the needs of you or your team. In List and Gantt view, you can select the columns that you want included on the board along with the order they're displayed. In Kanban view, you can change the vertical lane to a different attribute like task type, assigned to, state, priority, or a custom column. If you want to turn off any views you don't need, select the Views tab. This can be done from any of the board views. You can also automate specific actions connected to a board. There are several automation templates to choose from, and these automations can be customized to ensure that they reflect any changes made to your team's workflow. Here. An email is automatically sent to notify Megan on the day that the end date for a task arrives. Automations can be turned on or off and edited after you created them. CWM boards can help you and your team visualize, manage, and collaborate on work in one workspace using the workflow that best suits your needs. To learn more, see our product documentation or knowledge base.
or ask a question in the ServiceNow community.